वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स सो दिस इज दर्ड एंड फाइनल पार्ट ऑफ अवर इलेपे वर्सेज ए पी आर सीरीज दैट इज हाउ टू चूज एंड बट टू चूज बिटवीन टू टेक्निक दैट इज एक्स्ट्रा लिबेटर एबडामो पैनल सेक्शन एंड द ए पी आर एंड इन दिस पार्ट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द एक्सटेंसिव लिटरेचर व्यू बट आर द डिफरेंट ट्रायल्स बट आर दी बेसिक स्टेप्स दैट विल बी द पिक्टोरियल डिपेक्शन ऑफ इलेपे फॉर द ट्रेनिज बट आर दी प्रोज एंड कॉन्स एंड हाउ टू चूज वन टेक्निक ओवर द अदर सो स्टे ट्यून टिल द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो फ्रेंड्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड टू वीडियोज इन दिस सीरीज एंड द कंप्लीट कोर्स इज अवेलेबल ऑन आवर ऐप and uh, these videos are also available on our youtube channel so please do watch those previous two videos to get better perspective of this third video aim of this series is to uh, make our wedding surgeon and junior trainees aware of the fact there that there are other option beyond the conventional abdominal perineal dissection and uh, what are the different techniques and with this uh, knowledge they should be implement these technique into their clinical practice for better patient outcome so as i said earlier the apr the abdominal perineal excisions uh, these techniques and discussion about these techniques has taken a back seat in the present era the more and more limelight is focused on the tme lar ultra low lar so uh, we have designed this uh, series for the benefit of our junior colleagues so these uh, mainly problem associated with conventional ap pectoral guide but are the changing concept of ape and what are the literature view how how the paradigm is shifting what are the pros and cons that will be the main highlights of this video so in the literature view i will discuss the main landmark articles i mean the main main uh, findings and uh, i hope with these uh, main articles the trainees can understand these concept and the knowledge shared uh, through these articles will lead to the paradigm shift in your thinking so in this article um, by marcel dendal et al published in european journal of cancer uh, they basically the abdominal abdominal perineal section itself is assured with an adverse outcome so the purpose of this study was to identify factors Associated with the decision to perform APR, to assess if these factors or surgical procedure itself is associated with the CRM, that is circumferential resection margin involvement, local recurrence, overall survival, and cost-specific survival. So, based on these studies, one could debate whether the APR procedure by itself or the difference in the clinical factors that affect choice to perform APR in patient is responsible for this adverse outcome. This was an. basically pooled analysis of these five trials that is swedish tactical cancer trial tme trial german co aro eio 94 trial eortc trial polish tactical cancer trial so basically they pool the data of these five randomized trial from european centers and they analyzed the five year local recurrence rate so the local recurrence rate uh, after lr was 11.4 and after apr in case of rectal cancer it was at 19.7% which was higher so friends we will discuss these trials then we'll analyze the data and uh, i mean i request the trainees and uh, surgeons and viewers who are watching this video that you should go through these articles and try to analyze these data and how to interpret these papers so as depicted in this graph the local recurrence rate the lrr lrr was higher and which was statistically significant after uh, lar as compared to apr and even these survival curves were better for the patient who underwent lar as compared to apr so if we analyze the data carefully and this is the pictorial depiction in the same paper that the crm involvement in lesion or distal tumor that is crm positivity was given so the gray is apr and lar is for white wall so when the tumor is within 1 cm of the anal verge all were positive when we move to 1.1 to 2 cm if the surgeon persisted for lar the positivity rate for lar was very high uh, as compared to the apr and for rest of the graph so that is 2.1 onward the the uh, in all cases whenever the surgeon decided to do apr the chances of crm was 
positivity was higher for a patient of APR. I mean, this you have to analyze this data with a pinch of salt. How it is happening that we are when we are considering for the extensive surgery when the CRM involvement is higher. So the result from this paper were that APR itself, whenever we decided to do a APR, is assured with the increased risk of CRM positivity and increased risk of local recurrence rate and decreased uh, cost specific survival. So all the adverse factor whenever the patient was taken up for the APR. So I mean, uh, we, then we have to think that these result indicate that when we are doing APR, our surgery is not sufficient. Whenever we either we are persisting uh, too long for the LDR or uh, when we are deciding APR, I mean, it is an end resort or last resort and uh, we are giving a positive margin to patient and higher recurrence rate. Being said so means that we need to change our practice or change our technique and we have to we have to exercise more as compared to the conventional technique of APR. This is another landmark paper published in NNGM. So this is a randomized trial of laparoscopic versus open surgery for rectal cancer. That is not the topic for this video, but we will analyze the data for the benefits of our viewers. So uh, viewers, please go through this article also. Color 2 trial and it is one of the most extensively asked trial in the uh, basically questions or in the MCQ question during the super specialty examinations. This color to trial, they concluded that the uh, laparoscopic surgery in patient with rectal cancer was assured with rates of local regional recurrence and disease free and overall survival similar to the open surgery. And uh, now we will analyze the data that you will see shortly. So friends, if you're watching this video on our YouTube channel, then you will be able to watch only part of this video and the whole course, the complete video is available in the members only section on our YouTube channel and on our app. And for better learning experience, please download the app the app is available for ios and android the link for all is given in description of this video so as i said as we dissect the data and if you look closely uh, on this data that is when we are concentrating on the low rectal lesions uh, then see here that the laparoscopic surgery as highlighted open surgery the involved crm was uh, like uh, nine percent and 22 percent and it was higher in case of open surgery similarly the local regional recurrence in itt patient intention to treat population patients was higher it is overall it is higher and it is even higher in case of open surgery so I mean, the, then again, I am re-emphasizing my point that somehow or we are not able to give a proper surgery or we are not uh, dissecting or resecting properly to achieve a negative CRM and we are persisting too low and too long and we are just uh, getting closer to the tumor and giving a positive margin to the patient. So friends, as I said, it is important that we analyze this data with a hawk's eye. We look uh, through the data, we analyze, we read in between the lines to get a proper inference what we want to analyze. Another important finding if you read through the paper is that a T3 cancer within 2 mm of the endopelvic fascia and all T4 tumors were also excluded while analyzing that to our favor or then we have to give. Uh, with this series i am trying to basically uh, get a new uh, i mean uh, shift to your paradigm to the thinking that the apr is not the only procedure available for a patient of the low rectal cancer there are other options and the whole aim or the whole i mean objective of this series is that 
we should try to incorporate these technique that we have to think beyond the conventional APR that there is a elapse, there is a issue and dissection, issue and resection uh, techniques available so that we can achieve the CRM negativity because we have a literature evidence that if uh, they be considered the patient by elape then the higher chance of crm negativity the lr is better and the overall survival is also better so we have shared the two sides of story and from my personal conclusion i think elape should be there in the armamentarium of every surgeon and whenever possible incorporate this technique into your surgical practice for the betterment of patient care so friends, thanks for watching and uh, with this third part, we are concluding this series. I hope we were able to add some new insight to your knowledge. The whole series, the whole course and other exciting series and surgical video courses are available on our app. So download the app available for iOS and Android. Link for uh, this is available in the description of this video. And if you want to watch this on YouTube only, then please join the membership. So thanks for, thanks for watching viewers. Happy learning. Thank you very much.